Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's called Leah's Tidy World and I'm Leah and um, this is kind of a continuation of yesterday's video so if you haven't watched that make sure you do but it's really long so <laughs> if you maybe skip through it I understand um, <laughs> but it's worth watching so just watch it it's long but just watch it anyway and um, well I was kind of saying that video I was talking, I was opening up about um, having been a hoarder in the past and having had a shopping addiction. And I think I've never opened up like this, so it's definitely worth watching. <laughs> but um, I was talking about how hard it is to let go of stuff for me, how hard it is for me to let go of stuff, and what strong attachments I have and have had in the past. And since making the video I remembered that my ex therapist told me that um like the only way to make the anxiety that letting go of stuff gives you become less I didn't even know what the... it must be incense powder <laughs> edit this out um <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'll watch it later because now I'm in the middle of a video. Um, basically, the only way to what was that? Let go of the anxiety is to actually declutter. Like I always attempted to um, lessen the attachment so that I could declutter. But what you're actually meant to do. Is declutter so you can lessen your attachments it's kind of like um, how I used to think that I need to be content in order to release stuff but maybe releasing stuff will make me more content you know um, I guess it's a two-way street but yeah so if I really want to push further, then there's like no other way other than trying it. And I thought I would try it with my jewel. I thought I would try it with something. And then if it goes well, I can let go of more stuff. So I tried to go through my jewelry, but it was like too hard. And most of them are sentimental. I mean, most of my books are sentimental too, but I figured... I will just try with books and let's see how we go because maybe books that I don't actually intend on reading and I just want to own. I just want to have the comfort of knowing that they're there if I want them. I don't really intend on reading them if I'm honest. So those kind of books, I'm going to try and see if I can let go of some. I don't want to make a commitment, but I just want to try and push myself towards the goal of letting go. And I figured I would take you along. Um, I also wanted to kind of talk about the jewelry, but it probably just like, I'll just probably be speaking forever as I usually do. <laughs> um, let me know if, if you think my videos are too long. I mean, the last one was really long, but I already edited out so much, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is an example of jewelry. I wonder if it was from my youth. Everything that's like from my youth is so... It was such an optimistic time. I have such a hard time letting go of that. It's almost like when I looked at this ring um, that I have. It's so old looking and it's actually like broken and I tried to fix it with nail polish. <laughs> And I almost felt like Gollum because I noticed myself stroking the ring like gently. <laughs> I was like, my precious, my precious Gollum, Gollum. <laughs> it's almost like I'm trying to hold on to what little bit of happiness I have left that stems from that time back then. This was such a precious ring to me. I always imagined it to be Arwen's ring and I would always like wear it and I feel like it soaked up that positive energy and I feel like it could not I almost feel like I'm trying to infuse my life with whatever positivity is left in the ring if that makes any sense but I also wore it during a really dark time of my life 
and it's just so old looking. And there's this theory in Marie Kondo that um, stuff tells you when it's like ready to part with you by starting to fall apart and things like that. So, I mean, physically, it's gone by date, has long passed, as you can see. But then it's so meaningful to me that uh, I would love to keep it and I would kind of think that it, it makes sense to keep it because it's that it still belongs in my life and you know one man's rubbish is another man's treasure um like you're not meant to judge what other people keep what they still have a meaningful relationship with but it's just that I have so many things where I feel that way and it's just so old looking I, I thought it was gonna be easy to let it go but it's so hard I'm just going to be honest with you from now on because I feel like I try to always give you an, a result and make videos where I actually have things to let go of. But from now on, I, maybe I'm just going to be honest and if I don't get anywhere for now, then I'm not getting anywhere yet. And that's how it is. Um, so yeah, it's almost like I'm trying to hold on to that positivity from back then. But I just don't reach for this anymore. I had a lovely time wearing it for the longest time, it's, but it's so pretty, so, so hard. This one, I think I don't reach for it either. If it still fit me, I probably would wear it for all time's sake, but... I mean, maybe I could hold on to this and, like, let go of... There's more jewelry in here. Um, let go of the others, but it's just so hard. So, I haven't really read these, but the images are so gorgeous that I'll definitely be holding on to these and they're new in my possession. So, I'll definitely be holding on to these, not ready to part. Technically, I haven't read this yet, but I think I will, like, I'm gonna just have to read it. Maybe I should put it on here, just to, like, this is, like, my to-be-read pile. I mean, technically, I have... I don't know if I've read this or not. It's just such a cute book. Um, I'm in, uh, No, I'm not sure. I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about it. I haven't read this. I haven't read this in... Oh, my God. Uh, it must be, like, 17 years or whatever. Like, actually, 20 years. <laughs> no, not 20. No, 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 no. But maybe 13, I don't know, 13? I don't know, but like a long time. Which is embarrassing to admit. But it's so meaningful. The Lord of the Rings meant so much to me back then. So I think I'll be holding on to this. Then what is this? I haven't technically read this, but I, my, the, my dad has read The Hobbit to me. Oh, but I think I only have one. Do I have this in German? I think I don't even have this in German. Oh, wait. Maybe my dad sent it to me. So I feel like maybe I only need one copy. I don't know. I also have this because I just loved it. So this is what I read in my youth and where all the memories are connected to. Then when I was new in England, I bought this. Just to have the English version. But I, I think I never read it. So, and then I... Oh, I didn't know that you have... Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, like... I have one which is a copy that is only one book rather than three books. So I'm like, I have to have it. Oh my god, this will be hard to like let go of one of these. But I feel like I don't need, I don't need three versions. I also have the Sir Silmarillion in English as well. Well, it makes somewhat sense that I have the German and English one. But I have read this. But maybe I haven't read this and it's one of those books that I just have because I want to own it. But this, it would sell on if I try to sell it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it could sell on eBay. So maybe I could release this and then only keep this. And then if I were really ready to read, oh, I'll just keep it for the memory's sake. I don't know, I'm keeping this one. Um, these are unread, all five of these. But these are all, yeah, these are all talking things. But these are so cute and 
uh, I kind of cling to these and I think I'll give myself the chance to read it. So which one of these should I let go of, huh? I feel like with this I have the beautiful memory of being new in London and buying this. But this is sort of more special. So maybe I should keep... Uh, I don't know, mate. I mean more special. This is more special because it's a, a memory connected to it. But this like, as a book, the way it looks is more special. Uh, more special looking that it's a whole... A whole... um edition that is not split into three um i don't think i need to go through these because these are all new but maybe i should but i don't want them to fall down so we'll do that in a minute oh man yeah i haven't read this either i tried though this is such a memory i don't even know <laughs> oh my god okay for keeping this um, I'm gonna let go of this. I love this. It's so beautiful looking. I really want this, but I don't read it. Like I feel like it's just in my shelf. It's just... I don't know. I, I don't have any intention of reading it, actually. <laughs> um, also, when I had depression, reading became so hard. I don't know if anyone can relate. So I've gotten better since, and I, I think, I don't know, if, because I'm only self-diagnosed, because my therapist back then, she was like, after four sessions, she told me you can get up to 12, 6 to 12, but then after four sessions, she was like, then we don't have to waste our time anymore. So I'm like, and so it just broke my trust, and, um, why am I saying this? <laughs> so I never found out if I had depression. If that's what it was, but I feel like in retrospect, that's what it was like. And anyway, a, apparently in England, a psychologist can't diagnose you. Only psychiatrists can diagnose you, which is like ridiculous. I don't remember how I came to speak about the subject. Um, maybe I need to edit out the thinking pause because... <laughs> Maybe I have a mild version of it now. That would make sense, but I've got a lot better. But what I mostly read nowadays is self help. This is so embarrassing to open up about. Like, I'm uncomfortable, but at the same time, I want to explain why I have such a hard time reading. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even, I don't, I'm not even drawn to books the same way I used to be. Um, how much is it worth? Oh, $12.99. I got this in some charity shop. I was so happy to find this. But... Okay, this is my place for books that can go. This. I found something out about the origins of this book that just completely means that it's not for me anymore. So, I can give this back to the person I borrowed it from. Make a separate pile. I've always, in my youth, I always wanted to read it. And I feel like that would have been the right time. This is from the same people. Maybe I should have, I don't know. It's like, I haven't really thought about that. Um, Everything in there is really truthful and all, like, everything sounds really great, but it was just such a betrayal. Uh, so I think maybe I can also give this back or maybe ask them if they still want this book. Um, I have actually read this, but I might be able to part with that. It's a really cute book. But I might be able to live without it. So, pile three. The price was still on. I haven't read this. Ah, but it's new. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to part with this. Oh, I forgot I had that. Um, I think I read through this whole thing. 
no i ended up here oh dear so i feel like i have to either finish it and then keep it or let go because i didn't need it i don't think i read this it wasn't what i expected should i just let it go i th i had high hopes for this book but i think i don't like it so this is my considerate pile, basically. Magic I also haven't read, and I'm also like, I just can't. Especially last time, now that I let go of the power and miss it, um, I kind of want to hold on to it, but... So, like, I guess I can put these on the considerate pile. And this one is all... Or shall I just let go of this? So... I'm so indecisive. Anyone else? Ah! Oh, the prices are still in here. I mean, technically, I never read this. I was meant to read it for school. I just kept it because I love it so much. I mean, I love the memories and it's sentimental, so it's hard. Should I let go of this? Considerate pile. I feel like my considerate pile will grow and grow, the rest not. Um, yeah. yeah, having one hobbit would be fine. I feel like I need to decide which Hobbit I will keep because I have a German version somewhere. I mean, I don't need this that badly. <laughs> Look how well read this one is. I had to glue it and like tape it with cello tape. <laughs> That's Hamlet, by the way. I don't know if I showed that. Which one would be, I feel like for the memory, this one would be nicer to keep. And this was what I was first going to do. But then I was thinking, I kind of think this is cooler to have a one, one version book thingy. Um, difficult. I'll leave this in the shelf, but I have to consider it as well. Um, I mean, I haven't read this either, but I'm not ready to let go of it. I haven't read this either, but I'm actually, I have begun taking it. I feel like it's stuff I need to know. Um, mythology, I have taken an interest in Norse mythology and Celtic mythology, so I will, uh, maybe I should hold on to this, even though I feel like I it's a burden to have to read it. I'm gonna try to read books like this. This. I've started this one at the moment. I've started like three books at the moment. And then this one as well. So I feel like I'm gonna hold on to it and see what it can do for me. I haven't really read this either, but these are like names. I feel like they're a good inspiration for my stories if I need any names. These are like Irish names, and I know my mom gave this to me. But I never know how to pronounce them, which is. Kind of sad. So I have to always look it up. Yeah. I don't know if I'll read it. I mean, I should probably let go of it. But. Yeah. I just. It's just too beautiful a memory. I just can't. I'm not ready. I was wondering if I let go of the, the Mist of Avalon. I have read this. Which I think you can tell. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I loved it at the time, and it was so sad and a little bit like gruesome or whatever, if I remember this correctly. I found it a bit weird as a kid. Maybe it's more adult material, I don't know. But I'm indecisive about it, so I'm going to keep it on the shelf because I don't want to pull everything out and then not... Oh, I haven't read this, but this has potential to be read because I really enjoyed this guy's other books. Oh man. I don't 
don't know. And then, yeah, this one is still unread, but as I said, I'm gonna read it. And then my friend gave me this for a birthday. I was really happy to have it. These are these positive memories that I like just want to keep those books. And then I still haven't read it. This was in my teens that I got this book, and I still haven't read it. Oh my god, I couldn't let go of it. Ah, <sighs> so. Red, red, red. Well, I have read the other version. I haven't technically read this exact book, but I have. This is the only English version that I have. So I'm going to keep it. I only kept these because they're German. Because I really love the cover. I will show you. Like, I let go of the ugly covers. And I kept... Look what it looks like. So pretty. Oops. Excuse me for swearing. Right. It's so pretty. And this is so cool because bis zum Abendrot means till the... Till the... What is it? Twilight, I think? Or till... Till twilight? Or till... Like... Um... You know when the sun goes down and the sky is red? But the word till and the word bite are only different by one S. So they made the one S really pale. So it's like... Bitten at twilight. Or bite at twilight. Oops. Oh, really? I'll look for it later. So the this is the Lay of the Nibelung. And this is the same one in German. I have started and not finished either. So like I have to assume that this book is... Why is this so hard? I mean, I know I probably will never read it. But like I really want to have read it. And this is such a cool... I'm just in love with... Mistakenly, I've ruined it. It got really hard and like dry. Not hard. Dry. But I think it's from 1920. It's like 100 years old. Let me check. Yeah, 1911. Oh my god, it's over 100 years old. So I'm really in love with old books, so I would love to keep it. And then this one has the Middle High German version as well, which I tried to learn the beginning of. Uns ist den alten Meeren wunders viel gesehen, von Helden Lobeberen, von großer Arbe. Von Freuden hochgezieten, von Weinen und von Klagen, ai ja, von Kühen erecken Stieten, moget ihr nur Wunder entsagen. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I will try to read this at some point. I mean, with my research about Norse mythology, this would come in handy, actually. So maybe... It's just, it's just, I don't know. I can't read anymore. Um, more legends, which I haven't read these, but I think I have too hard a time to let go of them. But I will consider half of the day. But this is also like Nordic. And then what's this? I keep forgetting. The Lady of the... Lay? Is this a lake? Yeah, I think so. Oh. The Lady of the Lake. Man, this is hard. How much did I pay for this? Let's not check. <laughs> I still have the receipt in here. Um. I just want, I just love to have them because they're old, but I don't really need them. I'll probably never read them. So these are like something I should consider letting go of. But talking about old books, I'll probably let go of this. The Life of Christ. It's such a beautiful subject. I totally love the idea of this. I love how old it is. I love how pretty it looks. But maybe I can sell it on 
but I just probably won't ever read it. And I'm not sure who this is written by, if that makes sense. Like, it's not the Bible, so who... Oh, of course it says that here. <laughs> but, you know. So... I might try to sell it. If you want it, hit me up. I have an eBay, so that's where I will sell it. Um... I have to see about postage because it's so heavy. I was going to actually do local pickup, but hit me up if you want it and we can discuss and see what's possible. Um, there are more unread books. This one, I have, I have two, I have two versions of the, oh my god, how dusty. <sighs> that just goes to show, I have two versions of this and I read the other one. So like technically I've read Pride and Prejudice, I just haven't read this actual book. I don't, I think the other version is in Germany, I don't know. There are a lot of unread books here, but I want to read them. Like, these are, like, books that I, sp I bought recently, and they're all mainly witchy books, just, like, books that interest me. I have read this. I haven't read these two, but... This is so cool. Legends and traditions from around the shores of Britain and Ireland. I really want to know. I really want to know those stories. I just don't want to have to read them, if that makes sense. Like, this is such a good book, but it'll be hard to part with it. Oh my god, I've been filming for 20 minutes. Out! Oh, M to a G! Maybe I should just, like, leave it at that? What do you think, guys? Because the intro was also a few minutes long, so... Um, maybe I'll just leave it at that, but at least it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to do. It's so really difficult. I'll just finish up with these two books. Such a good find, but I just never read it. <sighs> I don't know if I should read it or I'll probably put it. Oh, no, 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 I love it so much. And the Canterbury Tales. I feel like I had two of these, mistakenly. I don't know where the other one is, but I obviously don't need to, so I guess that's a good thing. I do feel a little better reading through some of these things. Oh, I skipped. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I just, I just am not ready to part with this, even if I'll never read it. Um, <laughs> I forgot about these. I need to recon- and I haven't actually read this either, so I feel like- I tried to let go of it and, and then I saw a reason that like, why I spent five bucks on a stupid little heft, don't know what the name is, like magazine thing or whatever. And then I don't even like read it and I just let go of it because I regretted having bought it because it's just like merchandise. It's just like they rip us off, you know, but it's also a lovely memory. So I'm going to have to read that. But like I had this. It's, it's pretty much like the Empire magazine. It's like the one in German. They had lots of Lord of the Rings specials when I was young. And I love Lord of the Rings. So I um, kept them for a while. But then I like was foolish enough to let them go. And I regretted it. So I bought these. But I never read them. It's just not the same. But also these are so cool. So like I have to really think this through. I feel like I'm gonna, because I'll never read these, but Havelock the Dane, it's also Nordic, so should I hold on to this and try and read it, or should I let go of these, consider, I feel like I have enough to read with these two that I probably will never read anyway, um, and then I still have all the books that I want to read. There are some more down here, but as I said, this video is pretty long, so I'm gonna continue on my own and then I get some point like do an update or maybe film another thing that I'm decluttering. So yeah, so these are the books that I'm definitely letting go of. Still manage quite a bit, and these two for sure. I'm having second thoughts on this one. There's one book where I'm not sure so. Doing pretty well, I guess, considering just a day ago I had these strong attachments and didn't know what the hell I could do at all. 
thank you for watching thank you for bearing with me i really appreciate it and i would really appreciate if you like this video um give it a little thumbs up subscribe comment and share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one bye and let me know <laughs> um what your situation is with your books